Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's about 1 o'clock, and as much as uh, I'm not a fan of the heat of the day, I had to take care of some business. So as I'm uh, making this little video, I'm going back and forth with my realtor. And the form TM30, which says where you live, and it has a date on it, in my case, 365 days. So I signed a one-year lease. I get a new TM30 verifying my address in the Kingdom of Thailand. It says a number of dates, 365, and it has a date on it. The problem is when you check into a hotel anywhere in Thailand, if it's Samui, Pattaya, whatever, they do a TM30 for that one night stay and it supersedes the last TM30. You think if you had one on file for 365 days, then you go to a hotel and it says, here's a TM30 for two nights at this hotel in Koh Samui that you would then go back onto the original TM30, but that's not how it seems to be working. What's happening is guys are going into immigration, and this is a bit of a gray area, so there'll be people that might leave comments saying, that's not how it worked for me. Right now, down in Jam Tien and Pattaya, they're really getting hammered on this TM30, and now it appears to be happening here in Bangkok. I'm making this at the end of 2023. I never did 90 day reports for pretty much all of last year. What I did was I would just leave the country. I like to travel. So day 85, I'll jump on a plane and go to Indonesia, come home. Day 85 again, I would jump on a plane and go to Kuala Lumpur, come back. I did that for a year. I just did my first in-house at Chiang Watanan, Bangkok. 90 day report when I renewed my last non O visa last October. So that was the first time I've ever did a 90 day report. I gave them a fresh TM30. It wasn't an issue. I saw her look at my, what do you want to call it, uh, lease, and she was verifying something. So I'm sure if a Holiday Inn in Pattaya or Kosamui popped up, that might have been an issue. But I asked my realtor before I went to immigration, give me a brand new TM30 and I'm heading in. I don't want any issues. Well, I was going to leave. It's been 90 days or whatever. You can check in 15 days early, whatever that is, 65 days since uh, my last 90 day check in. 65 isn't the number. You know what I mean? 90 minus 15. Don't make me do math. It is the 15th day today. So I went to check in online. That's a whole other story. You have to enter your name, email. They send you a confirmation number. You change your password and you're good to go on the online 90 day check in system. There's been reports that it's working great these days and other people say it's not working so great. I was prepared. Today is uh, 15 days early. I checked in, I entered my passport number, my name, my address, and I had a problem. It said, would you live in Bangkok, this part of Bangkok, that part of Bangkok? Um, I'm not sure, one was Bangkok Nui, I think, N-O-E, and the other one was Bangkok Y-A-I. I looked it up for 10, 15 minutes. I'm in Phnom Penh. I couldn't get a straight answer. They both seem to be on the other side of the Chow Phraya River, the Tombury side. But I tried both. I said I live in this Bangkok. And then when I went to enter my sub-district of uh, Klang Tui, it would not accept it. I did that until it timed out three times, and then I had to start all over. Finally, after about an hour and a half of this, it just would not accept my sub-district. I had walked by a place in Phnom Penh, and I'm not going to give that information until I make sure this all goes through smooth. I'm sure it will work out, but in, in case it doesn't, I'm not going to slam anybody's business. But I went to a, a small mom and pop visa agency, and for 500 baht, they said, yep, hand us your passport, and we'll take care of this uh, next Monday. It's Friday about 1 in the afternoon right now. I'm not wild on leaving my passport with anybody. If that's uh, a guy, as I'm running a motorbike, I'm certainly not going to do that. Or back in the day, hotels wanted you to leave your passport. Yeah, I'm not big on doing that. But if you're going to 
put some trust in these visa agents to go down to immigration on your behalf for 500 whole baht, which is, what is that, 16 U.S. dollars? I do have an appointment. If uh, this 90-day check-in did not work online, I made a backup plan for an appointment next Wednesday. Rather than going in cold and waiting for two or three hours, the appointment would be hopefully in and out in, in closer to an hour. But for 500 baht, if I can avoid going down to Chiang Watana altogether, that's money well spent. Heck, I was drinking 200 baht Coronas last night, and I don't know how many I had, but it was more than 500 baht. So I chose to do that. I did explain to them my TM30 situation, and they said, yep, we go there every day. You need a fresh TM30. This TM30 you're handing us from September, which is what my agent sent me yesterday. I have been bothering her for a week. Hey, I need a fresh TM30 going to immigration. And she sent back, she's a real nice person, but she sent back basically... I talk with my bosses, and you have a long-term TM30. Here it is again. Here's a copy of it again, the one we gave you last September, and you're good to go. Well, I talked to the visa agent today, and she says, this is not going to cut it if you're telling us you went to at least one hotel, much less I was probably in three in the past 90 days. They are going to all do a TM30 on you, so you're going to have a whole mishmash of TM30s in the system when we go down there handing them your address in Bangkok. They're gonna say, well, the last TM30 on file is the Holiday Inn in Pattaya. So I'm back to square zero or whatever you wanna call it, <laughs> back, to, back to the first phase where I'm now going back and forth with the agent. Give me a fresh TM30, please, with today's date, and I'll hand it to the agent. They do have my passport, you're gonna have to Put a little bit of trust in, in some professionals to go down to immigration on your behalf or go with them if you don't want to surrender the passport. Me, I'm going to take the chance that uh, they do this every day. As I sat there asking my questions, three or four different expats, a couple of British guys and one American came in, all picking up their passports. And I asked two of the three guys, the one guy seemed to be kind of in a big rush, what their experience was because they were there for 90 day reports as well and they one guy said i don't i still don't trust the online system he said he has used it and it's glitchy he ha he did admit he hasn't used it in the past six or seven months he says it's just or maybe maybe he said a year he says it's just too easy to come down pay the 500 baht come back the next day and pick up your passport but he said he had one friend at work that did his 90 day online. And then when he went to do another 90 day, there was a bunch of 2000 bot fines. I'm not sure exactly how much the fine is for missing your 90 day. It's, it's pretty bad. It's, I think it goes, don't quote me on the price, but it's not cheap. It's way more than 500 bot. And I, and I think if you're whatever it is, 90 days past not doing your last 90 day report, it's a little bit of trouble. Anyhow, this guy had did it online, had made copies of X, Y, and Z, and now he, he told me his buddy had to go down to Chiang Watanan and straighten it all out. Whether it was straightened out, I don't know. But it sounds like a bit of a pain, and one I'm probably not willing to risk to save 500 baht. Um, I am willing to hand these visa agents my, my passport and Today's Friday, pick it up next Monday, hopefully when all this is done. If it were uh, Monday, perhaps I'd pick up my passport on Tuesday. So maybe that is a little bit smarter. But once again, I'm not too worried about uh, a visa agent running off with my passport. If it gets lost or something happens, well, that's something I'll have to deal with. And there are remedies to get another passport over here. I would feel much better leaving my passport with a visa, visa agent than I do just a guy who's uh, renting a motor, motor scooters. So that's my two cents on it anyhow. I, I would update your TM30 before you do anything at immigration. I'm gonna continue to travel. I, I almost avoided this 90 day check-in by just jumping on a plane and going somewhere. But I don't wanna feel compelled to have to go over to Bali 
just to avoid a 90-day check-in. I want to go to Bali when I want to go and jump in the surf, not to avoid this 90-day business. And I understand most people are going to be over here possibly working, and, and yeah, they're going to have to do way more 90-day check-ins than I have had in the past two years. So before you sign a lease, make sure everybody's on the same page. If you're doing a little bit of traveling, maybe that's not going to be the case. Maybe you're going to move into that condo in January and do three 90-day check-ins and never had left Bangkok or checked into a hotel but that's not the case for me. I'm at least doing some local travel, if not getting on a plane and, and leaving the country. That's fine. Once again, that counts as a 90-day check-in when you arrive back at the airport. In other words, let's say your 90-day check-in is uh, January 1st. If you leave before the 1st, call it December 27th, you're gone from the country for, let's use simple math, till January 27th, you've been gone for 30 days, your 90-day check-in counts when you arrive back at the airport. So January 27th, count 90 days from then. Either go to immigration, do the 90-day check-in, go to a visa agent, or try the online, and hopefully uh, it all works smooth for you. In my case, I'm doing a little bit of traveling, so the more 90-day check-ins I can avoid, the better. This time, I didn't feel like leaving town right now, so I, this is what I'm up to. And you'll also hear reports of you can do the TM30 yourself. Yeah, I, I've seen that window down at Chang Watana. It's the landlord's responsibility. I talked with the visa agent today because she said, well, if you don't want to trouble your landlord or, or they won't do it, we can do it on your behalf for 1200 baht. We need to take your lease down to Chiang Watana, and that's the main immigration office. It's about, it's out by Don Muang Airport, maybe 10 miles from uh, central Bangkok. So it's a hassle to get out there. It's a Pentagon-sized building, just thousands of people milling about. It, it's not a fun place to go. I did videos, and I'll put a link in the description of this video, to how I completed getting my first non-O for retirement on my own, and I went back and did my renewal on my own. I'm sure I could figure out how to take care of all this 90-day business. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it without the help of my landlord, or in this case, my agent on behalf of my landlord, updating those TM30s. She's just going to have to understand, um, hey, you know, this isn't my fault. It's like I told her, I'm a visitor here. I, I can't get in arguments with immigration if they want a fresh TM30 every time because I've gone to a hotel, well, then that's what I'm going to have to give them. And I'm sure she'll be fine with that. She's just uh, new to the, learning this newer system. And, and it's true. Back in the day, I, I know I gave them an old TM30 and had been to a hotel in Koh Samui for two weeks and they accepted it. But things change. You got to roll with the flow over here in Bangkok. And right now the flavor of the day is this TM30. I don't fully understand how rolling into the airport after a month, I, I don't know. I don't know how that works. They, they punch in your information and I, I guess they verify where you live. Nobody's ever asked me anything. Nobody's ever said, uh, well, this says your last address is Pattaya. Do you live there at the Holiday Inn or do you live in Bangkok at what this TM30 says, I, I, I don't understand. It seems to be a much easier system at the airport to verify your 90-day check-in than apparently it is at immigration these days, but that's just how it is. Hey, so thanks for listening to me ramble on about the old TM30 and the 90-day check-in, but if you're coming over here, again, it's the end of uh, 2023, that's how things are going now. You would think it, at some point when you put a TM30 in the system for the next one year, just going to a hotel for one night would not upset that apple cart, but it seems to be doing just that right now. It first started on uh, Facebook, different Facebook pages, people down in Jam Tien, hey, this is happening, and on and on and on, and people in Bangkok saying, hey, you're an idiot. That, that's not how it works. The original TM30 from 365 days ago should be fine. But don't listen to 
everything you hear on Facebook as as fact, it things change quick. And when uh, when one person and a second person verifies, yeah, that's what's happening down here in Jam Tien. Well, you better you better listen. These people aren't making it up for fun. Things change and uh, they change fast. Well, and I just got home and I forgot to mention the. 90-day reporting online, it's not an instant decision. You fill it in, and from what I understand or what it looks like, it's still going to be reviewed by an immigration officer, and it says give them three working days. So you can see the status once you fill it out and submit it, if you can get that far. I couldn't uh, I couldn't enter the sub-district, and I kind of gave up on which Bangkok I'm in, on and on. It, it's pretty straightforward. Maybe you can figure it out. Um, I couldn't get it done. But it it's not an instant decision. It still goes in front of an officer. So that TM30, I imagine, better match up to the last lease you showed at immigration. And I think I already mentioned you're supposed to do your first 90 day report in person. I did not. I did it at an airport. My first in person was whatever, my sixth 90-day report. So all that is going to be your miles might, may vary, but just throwing it out there, don't expect an instant response when you do it online. And like that guy I talked to at the visa agent service, um, I wouldn't wait till the last minute. You can do it 15 days early, and it says you can do it five days late after your 90-day report. But I was in immigration not this last time, the time before, and the guy told me they fined him. Uh, I forget what it was, 2,000 baht or 1,000 for being one day late. Now, that was at Bangkok. Again, I'm not sure if Chiang Mai allows you to be five days late or Jom Tian doesn't care if you're, you know, four days late. I'm just going by Bangkok. That's all I know and th- just what that one person told me. It might be different for another person. But you, there's no excuse not to get it done. You have 15 days early. So start on the 15th day, try to get it done online, hope you get some kind of email verification, which I'm sure you will, and hang on to that, even print it out, just in case the next time there's some kind of issue, hey, you never did that 90-day report and you owe X amount of fine, well, you'll at least have the email proof, and I would imagine that would suffice. So thanks for watching. Consider subscribing to the channel for more looks and information about Bangkok. I'd appreciate that. Have a great afternoon.